Welcome back, WNST, Tassel Baltimore and WNST.net. I am uh, scrambling around trying to figure out how my sponsors are doing, how my friends are doing, how my family's doing, how my listeners are doing during this incredible uh, coronavirus. Everyone shut down, everyone shut in, but all of our businesses that I'm aware of are still functioning to some degree. So I'm reaching out to every one of our sponsors, the people that have kept WNST in order on the air. I'm wearing hats, we're pumping our gas at Royal Farms, we're trying to get into you know, all of our places and keep them going and get a little look at what's going on with the markets with our friends at Raskin Global. But we're really featuring some restaurants where you know them, you love them, you've eaten in them a hundred times, maybe you're here, there, far away, you can order a crab cake. Pete's over at Costas, uh, I say Dundalk, he may say Edgemere, they may say Sparrows Point, North Point Village, I don't know what to call it other than to say family in Baltimore. Pete, I would uh, uh, try to pronounce your last name, but I would get it wrong. Uh, it, 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 so so I'll, I'll let you say it like I do with my wife, and then I'll repeat it so I sound smarter. How about that? <laughs> that, sound, that sounds like give me the Give together. me the Dundalk way and then the Greek way, because there's two ways, right? Yeah, well, it's Trantophilus and then it's Trendopoulos. See, I knew there were two ways. <laughs> and I get them both wrong. Pete's the way to go. <laughs> ah, all right. So, you know, all kidding aside, we're all trying to keep some sense of humor, right? I mean, your father, your family's been there a long time. The steel mill closed down. You, you know, the, the 9-11, you, you know, uh, shutdowns at the point. Um, you know, recessions. Uh, the stock market. Cra- we, we, we've been through all this, right? And y- here we are, and this is the next thing, you know? And I, I liken it to the death of my parents or 9-11 or those times. My wife getting diagnosed with cancer. Those times in your life where just everything stops, and the only thing that matters, you pinch yourself, you say, am I still here? What can I do right here, right now to make things better? And I don't even know what's going on. I, literally, we haven't even green-roomed you, you know? What's going on with Costas right now, Pete? Give me an update, man. Well, uh, hey, Nestor. Always a pleasure, man. Uh, th- thanks for reaching out. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we're definitely in, uh, on, uh, in unchartered waters here. You know, uh, we've been through a lot. We've been through like 38,000 people working at the steel mill, like you mentioned, gone to zero. You know, we've been through some economic rough times, but this is definitely uh, one that's off the chart um, to completely shut you down and, uh, and to have people not come to your business is, uh, is a game changer, um, you know, um, but if that's what we need to do, it's to, to keep everybody uh, apart right now. We're all in. We're all in to do this, what's best for uh, the communities, the, you know, the public and the safety uh, uh, of all. That, that's, what, that, that's what it's all about. So uh, we at Costas are open for carryout. Uh, we open 11 uh, a.m. and we serve till 9. Uh, and we're doing uh, delivery for those that can't make it out and uh, to provide a service for, you know, those folks that want to have dinner and uh, aren't able to get out uh, from 5 to 9. Um, so we are taking off with that. We have a full menu available, crab cakes uh, and steamed crabs. We're doing crabs to go, and people are – Calling and making reservations, placing orders. That's good. Uh, that, that, that's good. I mean, because your first thought is, are people even going to want to think about taking home a dozen crabs right now? Right, You know, in the early part of this. Maybe on the weekend or whatever. But the first 48 hours, I mean, everybody shook up, Pete. I mean, you know, kids had lacrosse sticks taken out of their hands. You know that. I mean, you got you got daughters coming home and saying, what's going on? Son's coming home from school. Um, and, and there's no school to go back to. They can't go play with Johnny. I mean, the whole world... You know, there, there was a little concern with, you know, who will be ordering food right away? Can we buy gift cards? Can we do these kind of things to help our friends and use them down the line? I, I love hearing that, at least in the early going, for all of our partners, and you know, I've had a number of folks on, um, and, and it's at least in the early going. There's You set up a quick system. You know, it's forced every local business owner to think fast on their feet and try to use resources, right? And it, it seems like people are, they're ordering crab cakes to, to, to the early days, right? Right. Well, I tell you, you're exactly right. You know, and uh, uh, just as soon as we started it, we got some really good feedback, and people uh, really took to it. And I know a lot of a lot of people and a lot of folks out there are probably stocked up on a lot of groceries, so you know they're probably still working through those items. And uh, after that is uh, that period goes through, they might you know they'll be looking for an alternative, something different. And uh, you know we're doing our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night specials. 
um, available for carryout, which is usually just an eat-in thing because it's discounted down. We're letting all those uh, those great prices and uh, affordable meals uh, available for carryout as well. Um, you know, no delivery charge, of course, for deliveries from five to nine, um, and just uh, you know, just want to provide a service as well as just trying to keep uh, you know the locomotive moving, you know, uh, in in the right direction and keep uh, and keep our staff uh, uh, you know there uh, and working as well. Pete is here from Costas. You know Costas, the crabs, the crab cakes. You love them, the bar, the meat. By the way, if I order delivery on Wednesday night, can you deliver like Rob Fay here, some jazz music, Kirk Bumgart's band or anything, or no? <laughs> I think we can work that out. Uh, I'll give Rob a call. He'll be up for it. You know what? For all of us who love music and love live music and my dear friends, Eddie Lauer and John Allen, I mean, some of my best friends on, you know, on the planet are musicians uh, and involved in music and live music and... I mean, we are uh, we're we're spiritual creatures who need to get out and engage with other people, right? We're going to learn that very very quickly. That as much as we think we hate each other, <laughs> we need each other. You know, we all we have to congregate. You know, we have to get together. And music's it's a big part nature. of that. It's Fellowship, eating. You know, I mean, all of that, right? It's social. It's social, no sir. And uh, we need to get it back uh, as soon as the. Hopefully, we go through this period, and it's quicker than longer. But um, as long as it. As long as it takes, we're, we're here to do whatever we can for the community, and, uh, and we appreciate all the support out there as well. You know, I've been arguing about crab cakes with people a little bit uh, because, you know, everybody said they got the best crab cake and this and that. And I always say to you all, if you send a crab cake home, I murder it. You, you would be angry at me <laughs> that I, I fry my crab cakes more than any chef on the Food Network, you know, that w- would ever – serve them but and I turned to my wife the other day and I, and I said I think I like it like I like fried chicken you know what I mean I like baked chicken sure. I like boiled chicken I like pulled chicken I like I, you know I like chicken but I like fried chicken more you know <laughs> when it's done right when when fried chicken's done right there's no baked chicken that's better than a fried chicken when it's done right nope nope uh, uh, when it, when it's usually not the healthiest thing for you, it tastes the best. <laughs> right. So I mean, you know, if I get a crab cake at Costas and I bring it home and I'm going to heat it up, when you're not looking, because I know you're not looking, I'm going <laughs> to put like a little bit of EVOO in the little frying pan that I do. That I do my omelets in and whatnot. Now that I've learned how to make a perfect omelet as well, and uh, and I'm gonna I'm just going to beat it up and. <laughs> and so no one would be happy with a take-home crab cake for me. But crab cake, what, what's a perfect crab cake for you? Like, define that for me because everyone, mustard, mayo, uh, Old Bay, you know, whatever you're, Worcestershire, dry mustard, all those ingredients, they're all very, very similar. But for you, g- give me a little bit of a secret that what a crab cake has to have. I've said it. It has to have a, a crust on it for me to love it, to, for me to really love it. Well, I, you know, and you're right on. That's that's a delicious way to have it. I mean, crab cakes are personal, and uh, they're a very uh, dear thing to uh, a lot of restaurants because, like you said, everybody's got the best one. But, you know, you just buy um, the, the best ingredients you can, and we just let the crab meat flavor just speak for itself, and we use our own, you know, our own blend of spices. We have our own blend of uh, 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 of seasoning, and we, we have our uh, imperial sauce, which we mix with, with egg and hot sauce and Worcestershire sauce and dry mustard and all those ingredients that really bring out the flavor. Doesn't, over, doesn't overpower the crab meat, just complements it. And, you know, um, we broil as many as we fry, but uh, a lot of folks go for the broiled, and uh, I think that really makes it uh, probably the most delicious that I, uh, for me. <laughs> See, when I eat your food and I come over, you know, often, it, it, you, you put a little extra spice in the, in the cream spinach, like an amaretto thing going on. But, but I hadn't had a, an imperial, a crab imperial in 25, 30 years. Since I was like a kid, literally. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe since I was like on a prom in 1984. Like literally, like that era, I don't think, maybe 35 years. I had, I'm getting older now, right? So I got to do the new yeah. math on the 80s, right? Um, but I had crab appear at your bar a year ago. Just, I was in there one night and I was with my wife and it wasn't feeling crabs and I wasn't feeling like the same old, same old or whatever. And I'm like, what's something I haven't gotten in a long time? And I said, you know what? I'm going to get it. I might love it. I may ring a bell. I mean, I fell in love with it again, and it's something that I don't think everybody has it, but yours tastes the way I remember it being made in the 80s back when I was a kid, but I haven't tasted it in 35 years. 
Well, I tell you, you really hit a good point because, uh, you know, we're, uh, you're, you're a little younger than I, but, you know, we're going back from the, uh, from the same time period. I mean, Crab Imperial was something that was like, wow, it was, uh, it, it was a treat. And, uh, and it was like better than a crab cake, is that, you know, when I was a kid. At least I thought it was, you know? Yeah, well, it's creamy and there's, there's absolutely no breading in it at all. And, uh, I just remembered, like, you know, mentioning that going back to the Middleborough Inn. That's I me. Mean, that's where you used to go for Crab Imperial back in the day. Well, that's got like a, a pimento type of thing going on, right? Yeah, there's a little diced pimento in there and uh, the crab meat and then the... See, I like sauce. that. Some people say pimento in a crab cake, it kills a crab. I've had a lot of people call, literally say it's heresy to put pimento in a crab. And I'm like, but I like it. I mean, I like it the other way too. And I like a crab cake that's a little more mustardy and I like a crab cake that's a little more sweet. And I like a crab cake if the filling, ha- if, if, if the, the, the thing that holds it together is a nice breadcrumb that has a little... You know, I, I can go with 20 different flavors in a crab cake and enjoy them all equally, but I am thumbs up on pimento. I just am, and some people aren't. Ah, you know? It adds a lot to it. It adds a lot to the crab imperial. Our crab cakes are pimento-free, but the imperial has has pimento just to right. give it some different dimension. And, you know, I've seen people take a crab cake a lot of different a lot of different avenues. Some will put mustard, some will add a little of this. But mostly, um, you know, the crab cake is just good the way it is, and people just leave it alone and don't even put any sauce on it at all. <laughs> I had somebody give me a hard time about using cocktail sauce. Like, man, you put ketchup on a steak, you put ketchup on a hot dog. <laughs> I don't put ketchup on a steak, and I don't even, you know, I don't even need steak sauce on a steak, but I, I, I like ketchup on a hot dog, and I like what I like, and that's that. And, I, and if I want cocktail on my crab cake, now if you start putting tartar on a crab cake, I start thinking you're not really an American. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't, I'm not a tartar on a crab cake guy. Tartar is meant for fish sticks for me. Yeah. Well, it's personal. You know, it, it definitely is personal. <laughs> You're not going to argue with me, are you? What yeah, do you I'm do that's board. weird? Wait, what is your weird... What's the... Like, I said you have amaretto in... in it's in your cream spinach, correct? Yes, yes. Yes, uh, naturally, uh, the uh, traditional uh, recipe for for um, oysters Rockefeller and the Rockefeller mix is Pernod, and I said to give it that licorice flavor. Uh, we don't use that. We, we uh, replace... That liquor uh, with uh, with amaretto. So instead of taking it to that licorice flavor, we take it to the sweetness, and it really just uh, gives it a whole new dimension. See, I'm and, letting people uh, in on the secrets of the Costas menu. And you, know, if you want, once you go, you know. You know what I'm saying? But I, I have to try new things to see if there's anything else that's a little different. Like when you do those potatoes, the Greek potatoes with the le- the lemony edge, that's a oh, little yeah. different. That's a little different. You can't get that anywhere else that I know of. Well, that's the key. We got some signature dishes, and that amaretto, uh, oyster rockabilly has been uh, on our menu. We have going back 35 years, and uh, it's it's definitely a, a game winner. And, uh, and a lot of unique things, different the, the jambalaya, the seafood mac and cheese. They're all made to order. They're all made from scratch. So, by the way, I've never had any of those. By the way, I've never. I don't even know you have jambalaya. I've never. You have jambalaya. You have mac and cheese. I've never ordered it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seafood mac and cheese. You lot, know the other thing. You have pit beef, okay. and like I never like no no offense, and I I, I it just I always get something like costasy at your place. If that means you know what I mean. Like I'm always getting well, like I I've been in a mood for some cream of crab soup. You know what I mean. If I come in right now, that's what I would get. Well, uh, you let me know, and we'll uh, we'll send you a, uh, a a care package delivery to you. <laughs> no, but but here's the deal. I I know what that tastes like. That's why I want it, right? I what I need to know is what I don't know what it tastes like. Like the crab imperial, dude. You've been holding that on me for twenty years on that. I come in there every year <laughs> for my Mother's Day with my mother. I never got the crab imperial. I never had. Hey, try this. It's got pimento. You like pimento? Yeah, let's try that. So that's why I'm I'm 51. I'll be 52. I need to. I need some new experiences, Pete. You know what I mean? I need well, mac hey, and cheese at your you. place. We're there for you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it. All right, good. I mean, it may become my favorite mac and cheese. You never know. Uh, next time you're in, we'll we'll definitely uh, get that in front of you, so you can definitely give it a shot. You're not gonna do that because next time I'm in, I'm getting crabs because that's what I'm really in the mood for. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have them available. We're getting them in every day. We're getting deliveries in every day, Nestor. All right, so you, we can right now call you, stop by, pick up ver- literally anything on the Costas menu, anything I just made people hungry for. At, everything and more. Uh, they, can, they can reach us at 410-477-1975, place their order, and uh, we will have it ready for pickup. And uh, if they need it delivered, we can uh, get it to them between 5 and 9. Can they get the Crab Imperial? 
All day long. That's all I need to know. All right, if you can get the Crab Imperial, you should all go to Costas. Hey, man, love you, your brother, your dad, everybody, the whole staff over there. Uh, I can't wait to get open it so I can elbow bump them a little bit because I was an elbow bumper from way back. And, you know, th- there will come a day this summer, Pete, where you and I will sit and we'll drink a cold one right in the bar at Costas. The Oriole game will be on. The NBA playoffs will be playing we, you know they'll be running horses again for your dad for your family and we'll get the racetrack going and get the preakness the third week of september or something life will come back to normal but in the meantime i hope we can all hold it together man i, I appreciate you all that you do for us really thanks Nestor. we'll ride it out man and i look forward to that day and uh, we'll have a cold one love you brother thanks, we'll, we'll have crab Thank imperial with before. pimento double pimento for me because i asked for it how about that there Double you go. Order with the- <laughs> <laughs> Double order. Yeah, but baked potato. I need a jacket potato as well. Big lump of butter as well. Pete's over Costas. Uh, we have all of our sponsors delivering and curbsiding and feeding their families and feeding your family. Please allow them. If you're near downtown, stop and see our friends at Fadley's. Stop and see our friends at Amici's. Make sure you're stopping and supporting local places that are open. Pump some gas at Royal Farms. You need gas to get around. Keep a full tank of gas, even though it's not a hurricane. Pizza John's. Get a pizza. Get curbside. Stop C. Al. and a Chad Seafood as well. Work the Beltway. Stop at King Discount Liquors. Thank them for keeping us in business. We appreciate them. State Fair in Catonsville. Ditto. West Side. Let's get out and support our folks. Appreciate all of them. I'm featuring all of them because we're all in it together. Nasty at WNST.net. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Instagram. Keeping you entertained, informed, highlighted, and Baltimore positive during this tough period. We are WNST.net AM 1570 and WNST Towson, Baltimore. We're all in it together. We never stop talking. Baltimore sports.